Hi Taurus. This is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 2nd of January 2023. So yeah, <clears throat> we'll start immediately. With Monday, there's Moon. Tuesday, Five of Cups. The Hermit, Wednesday. Eight of Wands, Thursday. Ace of Pentacles, Friday. <clears throat> Pardon me. The Lovers, Saturday. And Three of Wands, Sunday. Your influencing energy is a Ten of uh, Pentacles. Anyway, the Moon on Monday, paired with the Queen of Cups. Seven of Cups, Tuesday, paired with a Ten of Swords. The Hermit, Wednesday, with Judgment, I believe it's called Karma here. Um, Eight of Wands, Thursday, with the Empress. Ace of Pentacles, Friday, with Two of Pentacles. The Lovers, with the Moon, Saturday and Sunday. Three of Wands, with the Sun, nice. Now, Ten of Wands and Ten of Pentacles. Look, it says just earlier, perhaps by the end of last year, you have completed something, something you've been doing for quite some time. It could be project that you were busy with for a prolonged period of time and somewhere in December, project is done, all finished, done and dusted, and there's, you know, rewards, some handsome rewards. You see what I'm saying? Something which will stay in your life. You put lots of effort to build your home. It will stay in your life for the whole family. Maybe next generation will inherit it from you. You see what I'm saying? You've done something very, very valuable. You made it. Your children are grown-ups now. You see what I'm saying? could be that sort of success. In that sense, something which you responsibly did for a very long time. End of last year, you have completed and you are enjoying rewards. After all, um, you worked for years in, I don't know, in this field, in this company, in this trade. Now, you finally, you will retire. You are taking your pension fund. Could be something like that as well for some of you cashing in or receiving rewards for your hard work. Um, very important energy for you from uh, last year. Perhaps it changes your life in a way. These are two tens, okay? Something is completing definitely. You uh, carried that for a very long time and rewards are there just what you expected. Very successful, lovely. Now the moon and queen of cups on Monday. Now look, queen of cups is Energy very passive, okay, emotional, passive, quite satisfied with that what you have here. You are satisfied with yourself, in fact. Out there, energy of the moon says you don't have visibility. What exactly now? Um, now, okay, you are retiring. And you feel good about that. It's successful completion by all means. But what from now? I mean, you cannot just sit at home. You have to keep yourself occupied with something. You don't have a visibility about that. What from now? In that sense, I really believe this moon uh, appears. But look, um, Seven of Cups on Tuesday will bring some sort of dreams, some sort of options, some sort of fantasies. You see what I'm saying? It's not that you are now pinpointing on something concrete. No, this is still fantasizing, dreaming about what is possible, what is impossible. Because Seven of, of Cups could feature things which are possible and things which are impossible. You see what I'm saying? Could be that lot is on your mind, just like that. Lot is on your mind, what could be from now on. Very much extension of this moon energy when you realize, okay, I don't have a clue. What do I do now, from now on? Now, on Tuesday, you are beginning to think of 
possibilities, options. I could do this, I can do that, I can do many things. You see what I'm saying? Haven't decided yet. But Ten of Swords is within you. This is third ten, okay, for you. Definitely you are completing with something and you do have these new ideas, new visions, new fantasies about what your life could look like since you, since you are retiring, since your children are out of the house, since you completed your studies. You see what I'm saying? You finished your university. Something you successfully completed, okay? You put lots of effort into it, you successfully completed, and you are now choosing your path. What to do with that? Very valuable thing, okay? What you're gonna do with that? Monday, Tuesday. Look, Ten of Swords isn't happy energy, but takes work is away. It says, new, brighter days are coming. It's all right. Whatever that was trouble, what was painful, what was difficult is over. That's just that understanding and you can begin to dream big. Okay, on this day, just dream it. Because difficulties are over. That's good enough on its own. Not the hermit and the judgment together. Again, this isn't bad energy. Though might take lots of lots of energy through you, might drain your energy because this is very very willful this judgment within you. You are bringing up some ideas, or something which you wanted, maybe even from a long time ago, something which you did have on your mind, maybe from your childhood. You see what I'm saying? Something you do have on your mind and you have decided. You have decided. I will do this now. This I always wanted. Now comes back. And on this day, on Wednesday, you will be so willful. You will be so strong. Your willpower is strong that you might actually exhaust yourself. You might tire yourself. You are working until late at night with these energies. You see what I'm saying? You are planning and working and talking and, you know, dealing with details. How to this energy on Wednesday. Just after this dreamy fantasies, could be that, could be another things, could be another things. Now on Wednesday, this is what I'm gonna do. You see what I'm saying? Always wanted it. And then immediately, you know, you are planning, you are strategizing, you are giving answers to yourself. How to, how to. The very demanding energy drains a lot of power. You will be excited and you might actually do a lot to give lots of answers to yourself, to make serious decision. You see what I'm saying? A lot can be done on this day, but as I said, be careful. This energy drains a lot out of you. Okay, on Wednesday. Now again, you're still busy, still. This is decision, this is something which excites you. Now you know, you will immediately begin to make your to-do list get your documentations, to get quotations, to whatever that you need to do, to speak to people, send emails, requests. See what I'm saying? Immediately, action, action, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> but you are feeling good about yourself now, since you've got your way, okay, since you know what you're going to do, since you have decided, you are very excited about it, and you are doing it immediately, you are immediately preparing things. Eight of Wands is intense energy, will create, will bring something on the ground very soon and that's what you are doing here very busy with everything which needs to be done before lands and begins to grow eight of wands brings as i said intensity but will create i mean this is excitement about creation which gives you drive to work to be unstoppable to put lots of effort in that sense this eight of wands exciting energy which will create and excites you on this day definitely because this is perhaps vision about your future. The Empress plans things for the future, all right? It's a big plans for the future. Now, with this Eight of Wands, whatever that you do on this day, on Wednesday, Thursday, these are big plans for your future. This is meaningful for your future. Will grow with the time, okay? These two energies are suggesting something like that. And, and the whole excitement is about your future, about decision, what you're going to make in your future from now on, what business you're going to be after. Um, will you get employed? Will you open your own business? Now, since you retire, where you're going to spend the rest of your life, you see what I'm saying? Could be something about that. What you're going to do with the rest of your life, rest of your career or something like that, or just at the beginning your career, doesn't need to be rest of your career, could be that you are at the very beginning. 
anyway intense lovely energies but you are not tired here it doesn't say um, it tires you or annoys you no you are enjoying it you are loving it okay you will enjoy every moment of these two days even perhaps might exhaust you might take a lot of energy off you but you will enjoy it there is Ace of Pentacles. It seems to me you will be uh, deciding about something very concrete now here on Friday. There is, as I said, something very concrete. As an opportunity which you are creating, could be that opportunity comes from outer source, but I kind of feel that you are creating your own opportunity, your own life, okay? What your life gonna look like from now on, okay? And you were Wednesday, Thursday, deciding about that. And this could be just that one idea, one option, something very concrete which you know you will make, okay? It's possible to make it. This could be very lucrative business. Something which you will create just now will be visible in your life. Just now it is possible. And it seems to me you are still thinking about it. Okay, should you go for it or not? Uh, maybe you should try with another different idea. You see what I'm saying? Maybe this is opportunity that came on Friday and differs from that what you were after this Wednesday and Thursday. This is all on your mind, all your creation which way you will go, what you going to do next. Now, could be that on Friday, somebody comes towards you, offers you, brings this opportunity towards you, and you are in dilemma between that what you did have on your mind and this which is coming from out the source. You see what I'm saying? But anyhow, this um, the Two of Pentacles says that you are in dilemma here. Could be dilemma about this one opportunity. Should I go for it or not? Should I say yes or no? or should I go with my initial idea or should I go with this what people suggest could be also that but yeah dilemma stands there for sure um, Taurus could be also by the way that your idea about your future life which you are creating or right, you are creating something different for yourself could be very lucrative you are looking for but to make you are very excited about it okay we established that but now um, you don't have enough resources to support it, to invest into it. Could be that you are lacking resources here. Now, the lovers and the moon, now this Saturday might indicate that you um, actually changed your mind or made up your mind, you have decided, okay, the, the lover's energy often brings decision, but with the moon within you, could be that you are emotional, that you are changeable. You see what I'm saying? It's not something which is certain here. Perhaps on this day, you will be thinking a lot, trying to find solution for yourself, trying to find a way, which way is better way, which is the best way, because could be, as I said, that you do have two possible ways for you, something which came on Wednesday, Thursday, and another thing, another offer that came from Friday, that could be that you were having that sort of dilemma. The lovers says you will choose, you will decide. Though you are changeable here, okay, at a certain point it seems, oh, this is great, that what I thought is better. And then it seems, no, but this is maybe more lucrative. You see what I'm saying? Um, you are very changeable self, but... Uh, the lover's energy points that whichever way that you go, you will not make mistake. Both of these options that you are maybe deciding about right now are good for you. So whichever way that you are going, it will be all right. Lover's energy is out there. You just decide with love. See what you love better, what you like better, where you feel more comfortable with these ideas of yours from Wednesday and Thursday or that from Friday. Just see what you like better. It will be all right. You are, as I said, very changeable here. Just now, oh, I love it better. Oh, and then another thing is better. In that sense, you might be... Um, indecisive on this day but uh, as I said it doesn't matter you will eventually go this or that way and it will be all right whichever way that you go and the three of wands it seems to me you will decide and you will be happy you will be feeling like a child this is such a joyful energy um, the sun energy you will have this sort of enlightenment you will feel like newborn this is also very new energy three of wands it is what you have decided. I am now opening my own business. 
I am now working for this company. I will now emigrate. I will now do this or that. You see what I'm saying? You have decided and you said, you put yourself out there with the debt, what you have said, something already established. Still to grow, still to develop, still, this is very beginning, very baby. <laughs> Doesn't stand on its two feet. Still things to grow for you, still things to develop. This is just the beginning, this is just a decision, okay? But you do have it clearly here on Sunday. As I said, it wasn't difficult for you to make decision, even though you see him indecisive. But this is indecisiveness. Should I go for this great or for another lovely? You know, that sort of decision, <laughs> that sort of choice you did have. And as I said, you made up your mind and you are feeling so joyful, so happy, so enlightened yourself. Beautiful week for you. I really love it. Enjoy it, Taurus.